Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of someone who's walking away from what no longer serves them. This is a card of someone who's looking for something more meaningful, something more, you know, uh, beneficial in love. It's like they've invested here, they've seen this through, and there's this feeling of disappointment, feeling of dissatisfaction, and ultimately knowing one's worth and choosing to walk away. Okay, so let's see. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so you could have been dealing with someone who was inconsistent with that Knight of Wands energy, and they may have kept you on the hook in some way with the Two of Swords. It's almost like this person was unsure about you or about what they wanted from this connection or where things were going. They may have purposely, purposefully left things a bit vague, and for whatever reason, it's like that wasn't fulfilling to you. And it's like you are, there's this feeling of choosing to disconnect from this. Feeling like you need to protect or defend yourself with that seven of wands. Choosing to fight for yourself. It's like you're coming across as very self-protective. And you may be removing yourself from the situation as a form of protection. Uh, the two of swords in the reverse does show that. Again, it's like this person kept you in limbo. They kept you in a in a position where you were constantly waiting for them to make up their mind. And it's like they never did. They were constantly indecisive. And then they have been in and out, on and off with that Knight of Wands. And with the Two of Swords being in the reverse, it's like you you made the the, the executive decision or the judgment call here to to cut things off here, to remove yourself from that waiting situation. Because the Two of Swords can show that someone is taking too long to make a decision and ultimately the decision will be made for them because of their, you know, their indecision. And it does look like you may have made the decision to walk away here. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Aries. So we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a card of getting out of your head. It's a card of giving yourself reassurance, peace of mind. So there's some sort of decision that you've made here that is ultimately, it's like you're at peace with your decision. Your head and your heart are agreeing, and there's just this feeling of uh, accepting the situation for what it is. Okay, so let's see. We have the Two of Swords again, and this is this time it's in the upright. Next, we have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, and we have the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so with the Two of Swords, this could be you closing yourself off to something that just didn't serve you. Um, there is an energy of not falling for this again. Because the Knight of Wands, we're seeing someone who, at times, they can show up in a very impressive way. You know, they this is someone who likes to chase people. Uh, they may even chase after you when you walk away, but it's like, that's what they like. They like the chase part, but it's like when they get you, they're not very consistent. They're not able to maintain that, uh, that drive that they had when they were chasing or pursuing you. And they may actually do this again. And it's like, you're closed off to it this time. The Knight of Swords does also show that there's this desire to communicate. They want to express something to you. They want to clear the air. They want to talk with you. Um, but there's just this energy of you not hearing it. You're, you're, you're very closed off. You've got your guard up to this person. Um, the Page of Pentacles is showing up here, which is showing an energy of new beginnings or embracing new opportunities. You could be moving on to something else here, looking at what else is out there. It's like you're in a position now where you're at the, the beginning again. You're starting over. 
um, you know, you may be em embracing new connections or looking at what else is out there with that Page of Pentacles energy. Um, but there's definitely someone here who's still, um, I'm seeing that even this person is still showing up as a knight. So even if you do embrace this person again, there's an energy of, um, I would let them prove themselves if I were you because it's not very promising. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, uh, Aries. Okay, so we have your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. Okay, so we have Saturn energy. There's a very difficult decision that you're making here. Um, with this energy, it does show doing the making the hard decision, doing something that isn't easy will eventually pay off here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, uh, Aries. So we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So with the Eight of Cups, we are seeing someone who's walking away from something emotional, an emotional investment. It can also show a person who's walking away from their feelings at the same time. So with this card, there is a message encouraging you not to uh, avoid your feelings. There's this energy of needing to explore your feelings, understand your feelings, don't suppress your feelings. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Aries. So we have always joyful. Write it on your heart that every day is the best day of the year. Okay, so there's definitely an energy of this person was someone where there was a lot of passion, a lot of sparks with them. Um, and there's a feeling of they did bring some joy into your life. Um, you will find your joy again. There's this energy of walking towards the sun there. Uh, but of course, it's a journey to get there. And it's like, this is, a, it, this is not an easy decision is what I'm seeing with the, this card here. Um, and at times you may find that your feelings kind of fluctuate as well with that card over there. Um, but there's definitely a message here that you are, you are moving towards your real fulfillment. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from um, the Power of Surrender Oracle cards for you, Aries, just to give you some advice. Okay, so we have surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. Okay, so there's definitely a situation here that you may have been involved in where there was a lot of sparks, a lot of passion. Could have even been some sort of passionate fights or drama here. And with the Eight of Cups, it's like something about it may not have been beneficial to your nervous system. And there is some advice here of having to stay centered here. Um, also managing your emotions because we saw that card about your emotions fluctuating here. Okay, so that's the advice. That's what I'm seeing for you, um, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.